fragile ceasefire was reached in Yemen Monday after hours of intense battle between the Yemeni army and Houthi fighters in the capital of Sana'a. The day saw the most severe clash between the army and Houthi rebels in the city since the Shiite Muslim group took control of Sana'a in September last year. The two sides fired heavily at one another near the presidential palace in a battle that ended with the Houthis seizing the state news agency and television station. Residents of the capital said fighting began in the early morning with gunfire and explosions heard across the city. It was not immediately clear whether President Abed Rabbo Mansour Hadi was in the palace while the clashes worsened nearby. The palace is defended by a special unit of the Yemeni military. Earlier on Monday, heavy gunfire and explosions were also heard in the diplomatic quarter south of Sana'a. Witnesses said they saw gunmen approaching the homes of senior government security officials, including the defense minister. The country's official state news agency said President Hadi will meet with Houthi officials in an attempt to bring the violence to an end. The Houthis are demanding more rights for the country's Shiite sect and are protesting against political corruption. After seizing Sana'a, they advanced into central and western regions of Yemen. Widely viewed as Shiite Iran's allies, the Houthis, now part of the Yemeni government, say they will escalate the situation unless their demands are met, making today's ceasefire agreement all the more fragile.